Hey, so I'm about to poke around in um, store leads. See what I can find. Probably gonna have to upgrade, I think, because they've got a paywall on exports. Although I could mess around with a sample. Oh, I'll show you. Um, but I kind of want to compare all the results that they give me um, <clears throat> with what I get from built with so we're just gonna just gonna show what that looks like so I'm logged into store leads which is it's weird they don't let you create a password it's interesting um, frustrating um, one password which I use uh, said it was going to remember that I logged in with Google, but it didn't. Can't turn off the UX part of my brain um, since that's my background. But anyway, I am looking for uh, users of a Shopify app called Recharge. That's a subscriptions platform <clears throat> um, because. Our business, uh, getorpoo.com, my business, whatever. Uh, it only works with Recharge. And so we want to find a way to build a database of um, Recharge users so that we can begin some prospecting in a way that's not scuzzy. But I gotta start from somewhere, so I need data. Um, they let you filter down to Shopify, which I guess I could do. Uh, but they also just let you do installed apps right here. So I'm just gonna do <laughs> the find on the page for recharge. And it's gonna give me results over here. Look at all these. Look at all these stores that have recharge code on their website. Now, I've done a little bit of digging um, in the past, and so I know that this, whatever it said, 38,994 is not going to be an accurate representation of who's actually on recharge and using it and a paying customer today because you can go um, any of these websites that uh, used to be on recharge and half the time they'll still have recharge code um, on their website but they might be using order groove or something else so they'll have two subscription app codes on their website and I guess the uh, the scraping bot gods uh, aren't smart enough to know which code is actually powering the website, which code is actually just sitting there um, in the source. But I was look at that. This will tell me the date that the app was installed. So that tells me that Kylie Cosmetics probably using recharge today and uh, it gives me all this shit I don't really care about maybe I do I don't know Instagram followers 60,000 followers okay so this legit brand these guys look cool uh, and they're growing um, Kylie Jenner wait what Oh, that's Kylie. Oh, Kylie. Kylie. Oh, that Kylie. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Store rank 29. Uh, rank of one. I don't know. Shopify. Okay. Cool. So I guess that's high. Probably a big website. Uh, Kylie Cosmetics. Let's just take a look. Kylie Jenner, look at that. View source. Uh, view source. 
Hill. Resource. Whatever. I don't care. Let's get out of here. That's not what I came to do. Um, but if I check all these and uh, I could, I guess, open all those websites, that would be bad. Um, or their Facebook or Instagrams, whatever. I'm gonna click export because all I want to do is get the data out. Now, need to upgrade. That's cool. Get up, export as a CSV. Uh, HubSpot. Okay, that's cool. I'm just gonna look at the CSV for now. Though. I think their Alexa rank would be cool. Um, I don't know what categories means. So let's see. Industry is good. I don't care about city. Uh, I don't care about country code, honestly. Um, created would be cool because I guess I could target new players on recharge. Versus people have been around for a while. New players are more likely to be active on recharge or whatever. And estimated sales. You know, sales isn't as important to us as number of subscribers. But why not? We'll <clears throat> maybe hopefully be able to target the bigger brands or... Brands of a certain size. Uh, the Alexa rank I like because it just kind of shows me general whatever Alexa tells you. Um, generic, non personal email addresses associated with domain. No, I want personal email addresses, whatever. guessing what the employee count is. I want less data, really. Um, I want the really important data. I don't want everything. I really am just trying to see how accurate they are at, at um, telling whether they're actively using recharge or not. I don't care about LinkedIn or phone numbers. Ooh. I don't know what monthly app spend is. What does it say? Where'd my tooltip go? Estimated amount the merchant spends on apps every month. Uh, and I don't care. Plan. I care if they're on Shopify. Mm. Again, I, I don't care where they're at in terms of Shopify to rank. That doesn't matter to me. Rank is what? The domain, region, sales channels, state. What is status? I actually sit here all day and try and figure out what this means. Status of the domain. Oh, good grief. Street address, subregion, tags, technology. Those technologies. Come on, tooltip. List. I don't care. Oh, that could tell me if there's other code besides recharge from another subscription platform. Theme. I don't care about a theme. Theme vendor. Mm. I could see us targeting theme vendors to integrate with ARP. No, I'm not going to integrate with ARP automatically. We don't even have to do with the theme. We're just sending a message. Theme spin, title, zip, whatever. Don't care about social, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram. Let's turn all this crap off. 
Okay, so what should we have here? Page URL fields. What is that? Woo! Brand, contact, play with content financing, open graph, image, retail page URL, return store locator, tracking bar. I want the PDP. If I could have the PDP. Retail page. That rolling over the tooltips actually worked half the time. I'd save a bunch of time on this website. I don't care. All right. Um, product fields. Average product price, product weight, collections. Ooh. Are they using collections? Hmm. Uh, price, weight, minimum, maximum. Okay. Recent product images, product images, product images, 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 products sold. Uh, Variants and vendor count. Nah. Nah, that's what I really want. Export options. Do not add headers. Do not include. Do not export. Yeah, no. Only include a single email for store. Excel support. Fixes text encoding in Excel. Uh, <laughs> boy, <laughs> I'm laughing because I know their pain for having to make this a checkbox somewhere. Um, include app or tech install, uninstall dates. Multiple value separator. Tip, download a sample to get a feel for the data. Let's download a sample. All right, there it is. Hmm. Cool. Now, my understanding is to enrich this data and get personal contact. Ooh, they make some money. Body candy. All right, body candy, get you some. <sighs> Technologies. Oh, okay. So I'll do us. Let's do a sign. Let's a search for. Uh, order group. Let's see. Texture. Stay. Uh, Skio. These are the recharge competitors that I'm looking for. Smarter. Ah, twenty found for recharge. Good. All right. Uh, what else is out? There? Whatever. Okay, so out of these twenty, none of those that I picked showed up in addition to recharge which is a good start hold on grunt style all right that's some survivalist sounding stuff uni this is cool four million and then i got tiny relatively tiny uh monthly sales oh that's not that tiny okay these are all pretty good sized brands these are all million dollar brands minimum Olaplex. Uh, okay, so then what I want to do is take that into Apollo. So I don't know. Let's, let's see what Apollo looks like. Uh, I just signed up for Apollo. I want to enrich. Upload a CSV to enrich with additional data points. We're excited. Simplify. Why use HubSpot? Keep your CRM. Okay, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to get this into HubSpot first. All right, select a CSV. Uh, where did I put the CSV at? Hold on. Downloads, maybe? I don't know. Dumb links to export. Look at that. Okay, please it map at least one of the following.
website. Company LinkedIn URL. Oh, I need the LinkedIn URL. Ha ha. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. So we're going to go back to store leads and we're going to go export. <sighs> Wait, what? Close. What just happened? Am I in a different store leads? I show sure am. Okay. Uh, export. There we go. LinkedIn. Uh, what's what's uh LinkedIn LinkedIn. I just it's just so much. LinkedIn account or URL. What's it asking for? LinkedIn URL. Okay. LinkedIn URL. And what do I want to set up for? Number one. All right, let's do it again. Oh, no, 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 no. Pick the wrong CSV. Uh, there we go. Website, I guess that's domain, and we will go with LinkedIn URL. Confirm. <sighs> this may take a while. That's 20 fields. Come on. How long is it really going to take? <clears throat> I don't think it's going to take that long. 19. You don't want to see my email? Oh, good grief. That's a terrible idea. Um, hmm. Well, anyway, that's what I've done so far. Why don't I just stop there? And It's like a cliffhanger at the end of a...